You know, for me, it is a great pleasure to be again with a very important international event in and at the Technical University. And we are very thankful to the University for a big help organizing and preparing this international conference. So it's a great pleasure for me to announce to you now the greeting words of Christian Thompson, the president of the Technical University. Mr. Thompson was coming back today from a trip from Taiwan and he immediately jumped into his university to make these greetings. So thank you very much, Mr. Thompson, for doing this. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paul. I just made it back. My luggage didn't make it back. I guess it's part of the international travel experience. So ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me that Dear Berlin was chosen for the World Peace Congress, which is considered to be, I guess, the biggest one ever, the biggest one at least in this year. And I'm very glad that you're here. The term peace building or keeping is especially for our institution a very important one. And let me shortly explain to you why and why a university is a good place to hold um, such an event. In Germany, after the National Socialist Rule at the end of the Second World War, and they left deep traces at Technische Universität. The result of the policy of enforced conformity, and the exclusion of non-Aryan scientists and students made great damage to the university not only to the victims themselves, but also to the university as an institution. At the same time, the university benefited from promoting subjects vital for German defense until it was finally reduced to ash and rubbles in 1943 and the years after that by bombs and artillery. But already one year after the end of the war, on April 9th, 1946, Tegu Berlin was opened again under the, this time direction of the British occupying power in order to rupture the nationalist socialist past. It was not a reopening of the university, before it was called in German Technische Hochschule Charlottenburg. It reopened as a university to make clear, to mark that it's a new institution, a different institution that would break um, with the past. And now it's called Technische Universität, as you know. And the change in aims was intended to make clear that the aim was to not reconstruct the old institution, but to have a new beginning. And at the same time, the school's educational mandate was also reframed as a university, as a universal education, now being the focus. And from then on, and we've ever since kept that policy, the humanities were to be integral components of our technology and research-oriented university. This is how the first technical university in Germany with the humanistic element was established. And until now, we look into combining humanities and engineering and natural sciences um, to a large extent. Furthermore, in, in 1991, that's just now 25 years ago, the Academic Senate of TU Berlin has committed to conduct research exclusively for civil purposes. This is the so-called... <laughs> this so-called, in German, Zivilklausel. In case of any doubt about a project that a scientist, a professor, wants to make, they have to prove that the proposed research project will not serve primarily military purposes. And in case the doubt cannot be cleared, the university will not take over the administration of that money and will not close any working contracts with scientists involved in such a project. So essentially, they don't happen at Tier Berlin. <clears throat> And I should say from a practical point of view, having to review some of these projects, the difficulty lies in the potential dual use. Um, because many projects, you can say, oh, they're completely academic, completely in favor of humanity. But if you look on the second page, you can find out that 
it could also be used in a different way. I just mentioned satellites. Satellites you can use to detect um, fires in, in Australia or fires in California and try to extinguish them before they become too big. But with satellites, of course, I don't need to explain to you, you can also do many other things. So in the practical terms, it's always um, an ongoing um, task to distinguish whether something is dual use or whether something is purely academic. There are the things that um, universities can do. And um, one of the um, recent, meaning the last year or so, um, tasks that the university fulfilled is to give refugees in Germany, which have come to in large numbers to Germany, as you know, um, a new chance in academic life. And um, we have at TU Berlin given now um, about 200 young, mostly, almost exclusively from Syria, um, students the chance to start a new academic life in a new country. One of the challenges for them a year ago um, we thought would be the language because still, especially in bachelor courses, all, almost all classes are taught in German. And we have preparatory courses, however, to learn scientific German, not just the colloquial German, but also the meaning of integral and these kind of things you need to know when you study engineering sciences. And we've offered courses that are completed now a year after that, and all of them that started have completed now. And I'm amazed um, within a year it's possible to learn that much technical German that it's possible to follow classes. I've talked to the um, students that have finished the classes and it's amazing the difference from a year ago. And secondly, um, what is even more amazing, I, these young people are very ambitious. They're very thankful for a second chance coming from Syria. It's like entirely different. And they have a perspective. They are, turn out to be good students. And some professors even say they're better some, than the average German that comes from a German school and starts. And so we're very thankful. And um, I think it's also for the benefit of Germany, or at least of um, the German academic society, that we have gained new human resources um, that will further us also in this academic way. Let me conclude. We're very pleased that the event is happening here at a university, at our university. Um, we have a remarkable list of participants. We have Nobel Peace Prize laureates. We have representatives from the United Nations, representatives of the European Parliament, excellencies, ambassadors from about 20 nations, the Senator of Finances, whom you will hear in a moment. So thank you all and welcome at Technische Universität. The International Peace Bureau plays an important role in organizing the event as a think tank and as a campaigning organization. Um, I'm glad that you're here. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you so much, Mr. President. I think it was a good decision to go with our World Conference to the Technical University in Berlin. And I think we can promise we love to come back. <laughs>